Hey guys, welcome to my channel FC. Uh, first, I would like to apologize for the delay in uploading videos. And today, topic is water parameters and tank capacity. There are many water parameters which are need to be maintained in the bioflock, but I am going to tell you what are the major, like mostly need to be maintained for the fish survival. Let's see what are it and how to maintain. First, pH value. It should be 7.5 to 8.5 in the water. For maintaining pH value, we should mix CSEO3. The next one is TDS, which is also known as salinity. It should be maintained 1200 ppm to 1800 ppm. ppm means I'm going to give it on the screen. You can just check on the screen. Uh, for maintaining TDS, we should add sea salt. The next one is ammonia uh, that is very tough part of uh, bioflock and it should be uh, 0 to 0 0.25 it shouldn't be more than that if it is more than that then it might uh, increase the mortality rate of uh, fish for controlling ammonia no we can use uh, sugar or molasses Next one is DO level. DO means dissolved oxygen, which helps a lot to survive fish in bioflock. The DO level should be maintained above 3. It shouldn't be less than 3. If it is less than 3, the fish mortality might increase. For maintaining DO level, you should have a aerators. These four parameters are the main parameters to maintain in bioflock. When these four parameters are maintained in a proper way and the fish survival can be good and mortality will be less and the rest of the parameters which are not maintained that can be managed because of these parameters are maintaining good. That is about the water parameters and uh, I'm going to tell about something some people have asked me in the comments and the capacity of the tanks and number of seed what we can add in the tanks. For 10,000 liters, it is 1,000 number of seed we can add in a tank and for 30,000 liters tank, we can add 3,000. Actually, 10,000 liters tank capacity is 1 ton. So based on that, you can just calculate uh, how much seed you want to in, like add and all. That's it for today. If I'm reaching 1,000 subscribers, then I'm going to give a live on YouTube. And I'm going to clear each and every one of my subscribers doubts and uh, any of other people who are planning for the bioflock unit they can subscribe and tell your friends um, after reaching a thousand subscribers I'm going to give a uh, YouTube live I'm going to share my personal experience on whatever I have faced on my bioflock system I hope you find the video informative and helpful if anybody need any information please do comment in the comment section and please do like share and subscribe my channel for more videos